Hughes was one of half a dozen players who carried injuries into the first game. Alex Ferguson felt their performances suffered, and it's interesting that he's not risked Paul Ince's fitness tonight. Dennis Irwin has got his place back at Mal Donaghy's expense. Gary Pallister and Brian Robson are both back after missing Saturday's draw at Queen's Park Rangers. Southampton are without their leading scorer and leading light, Matthew Letizier. This is his deputy, Sergei Gotsmanov, one of two Soviet players in their lineup tonight. Right back, Alex Shrednik is the other. That's the only change from the side that so nearly ousted United last week. Neil Ruddock is available again after suspension, but has to make do with a place on the bench. Jimmy Case lost his place to Alan McLaughlin at the weekend, but is back as captain tonight because Saints' record signing is cup tied. George Courtney takes charge of another quarter-final next month, Roma versus Anderlecht in Europe, and he says that the purge on the professional foul is every bit as severe on the continent. Southampton were the first team to hold Manchester United in cup football this season. Nobody's beaten them in a cup tie for 15 months now, and of course nobody's beaten them in any match since November. It's their best run of form for well over five years. into the area where he didn't feel as though he could hit the target. Case hung in towards Wallace. Pallister was always favoured in the air. All though doing well. Barry Horn, who set up the goal for Shearer last week. Making a typical surge into the box himself. It's a nice return ball by Shearer. Again, the angle difficult. Neil Webb for Manchester United. Oh, just whipped away from Sharp by Alex Shrednik. When Southampton gets sucked in and Manchester United are able to break against them, that's when they look dangerous. And Neil Webb has orchestrated with a couple of telling breaks so far. Lee Sharp's corner. Steve Bruce did well. Robson was in. Jackson McLean the line by Osman. Second time that the Southampton goal has survived, courtesy of a goal like clearance. Flowers got to that one. Southampton goalkeeper beaten once more. Bruce did so well there. And Brian McClare thwarted on the line by Russell Osman. leading the breakout. Strong play by Mike Phelan. Clayton Blackmore. Got to get Neil Webb on his way. Got past Adams. And ball is it. Yes, penalty. Kevin Moore it is, who reached out to try and stop him. And the ball just seemed to lodge between his arm and his body. Good work by Neil Webb. And more, and his anxiety to stop it reaching the United men beyond, handle the ball. Last two minutes of the half, Steve Bruce. Oh, and he's missed it. 
His first failure of the season. And he missed it by some distance. Southampton's biggest let off so far. Cleared the crossbar by a yard. The first half drawing to a close on a familiar and frustrating note for Manchester United. A few occasions on which they've defeated that offside line. They've been thwarted either by the goal line clearances of Kevin Moore and Russell Osman. Or most dramatically by Steve Bruce's penalty miss just two minutes before the interval. First time that he's let United down from the spot this season. They've not failed to score in their last 14 games, Manchester United. They must just be beginning to not even be at halfway. Extra time would follow a deadlocked 90 minutes. Alex Ferguson believes that United's newfound confidence has been highlighted by the number of late goals they've scored recently. Half a dozen crucial ones in the last month alone. It was the 77th minute at Southampton. It was the 83rd minute at Queen's Park Rangers on Saturday. We may even go into the hundreds tonight, but extra time is necessary. Jimmy Case. Shearer keeping Bruce honest. McLeod. Fuse was fouled that time by Osman. Steve Bruce taking the free kick. Moving ball. to find feeling again then hung up for Neil Webb went in the air from Osman but Moore got it clear Cockrell Robson Webb Hughes onside this time great chance for Mark Hughes he's done it again six minutes of the second half gone a little bit now Cases free kick and he's there an equaliser by Alan Shearer Manchester United just couldn't deal with the free kick and Shearer's finish was instant right through this ceiling Alan Shearer equalises within 60 seconds turn up at Old Trafford Gotsman off Rodney Wallace Pallister's back there covering I'm not sure how much less silly sure of that sure shot it was through him before he knew it Shearer Barry Horn, not without the ball. Phelan just sweeping the ball into Dennis Irwin's path, inviting him to come forward. Neil Webb, Ryan Robson. Good play by Barry Horn. 
What a fabulous challenge that was. Now what's he set up? Case for Adams. Cockrell. Wallace. Regained by Pallister. It's not going to bounce within 20 yards of a Manchester United player. Sergei Gotsmanov. It's only his third start in the senior side this season. Taking his chance in the absence of Matthew Letizia. He's going to be out for a while. Steve Bruce intervening. And again, volley by Cockrell. Almost found a way through. So many bodies in front of Les Seeley. And Glenn Cockrell can really strike them from that range he didn't get hold of that one as he would have wished see he only just got there one one the score Lee Sharp on side good control too useful cross Mark Hughes two one six goals in his last five games and Gary Pallister giving Lee Sharp his first chance of the evening to run at the defender and get in a telling cross and how telling it was Mark Hughes hat-trick hunting Sergei Gotsmanov equaliser hunting well blocked by Les Seeley stretch Manchester United there got beyond Clayton Blackmore Les Seeley got his angles all right Steve Bruce. It was deflected by Horn, and here goes Lee Sharp. Two waiting in support. Goalkeeper committed. Goalkeeper did very well indeed. All or nothing there for Tim Flowers. He came all the way. He managed to smother the ball at Lee Sharp's feet. Won't be too happy with his first touch. Good goalkeeping, though.
slipping again, and here goes Rodney Wallace. He's got support from Barry Horn. Real chance for Wallace. Brought down, was it, by Sealy? Penalty given. It's a yellow card at very least. Eternal for Southampton. It's Hughes three, Shearer two. His second of the night is Southampton's second of the night. Adams, Cockrell, Wallace screaming for it, but they've been beaten by the whistle. The Cup adventures of Manchester United continue. The FA Cup holders move within two matches of another Wembley visit and are still chasing knockout silverware on three fronts. Three goals tonight from Mark Hughes.